Hi, welcome to Random Talks and Juice of Thoughts. I'm Darian. I'm Bro. I'm Andrew. I'm, like, I'm Andrew. <laughs> Bro. Okay. <laughs> Random Talks and Juice of Thoughts. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And, uh, ready to start? <laughs> you ready to start? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Uh, so, update on football. You guys already know that arena uh, football is already done. Uh, it's official that I got rookie of the year. And I'm, I have the second most votes for most valuable player of the year. And recently, uh, I also have the Saturday football and also Sunday footballs. But Sundays are the game. Saturdays are just mess around. I was doing a route and I got basically... <laughs> trying to word this right I got smashed <laughs> by two guys and hit from behind <laughs> <laughs> oh you talking about your concussion mm-hmm. oh yeah. no wonder you're fucking talking weird so you got smashed I always talk you weird clap from the back your words not mine continue no you, you got smashed and clap from the back <laughs> and uh I got I had no control on my way down to the ground and I just this big ass forehead right here and just hit the hit the ground <laughs> <clears throat> okay anyways bro let's tell you let's tell you a story about how this guy hit his first 225 at the gym at the time I was only able to barely lift the bar and the 25 I was a, such a scrawny sophomore right yeah I was sophomore year or was it junior no because i hit two plates sophomore year too yeah i was uh such a scrawny sophomore and i was barely able to get 25s i struggled i like i was all on the (laughs) on the way up i saw this guy hit no it was junior junior year yeah i thought it was junior yeah it was junior year i saw this guy hit it and he's been trying to hit it for the longest time and i just wanted to see if i was able just to lift it off the the rack so i was able to the only thing is, right when I did that, my arms basically gave up. And it was on my way, on the way, on obliterating my chest. I had stopped it right above my chest. You got distracted with our other friend. Yeah, so they were pinching each other's nipples. <laughs> it was three of us <laughs> at the gym, and we were all, t- um, me and our other friend, we were talking. And then Andrew, I had got done finishing my two plays, and Andrew went to go hit that. And he he unracked it, and he slowly brought it down. And I was still talking to one of my homies. And this guy's never hit anything above uh, 130. No, not 135. Uh, 75? Yeah. Around there. And um, so he, he hasn't hit anything above 75 pounds. <laughs> and so he goes and he goes underneath the bar once me and my homie are done hitting the two plates. And this guy unracks it. This is at Planet Fitness. So it's those Smith machine things. <clears throat> it's a Smith machine. And he unracks it. And he starts, he slowly brings it down. And then tell him the rest. And then when it came to, I was like, Darian, Darian, he wasn't hearing me. And I was like, fuck, I'm going to try to bring it up. Because it came to the point where it's just smashing my chest and it started to hurt. And I was like, Darian, Darian. And the last time I said Darian, I like moaned and grunted his name so loud. Like everyone turned and looked at me. But I hit the two plates. <laughs> tell, uh, him, tell him how you, how you yelled my name. Darian! <laughs> I, <was like, laughs> I literally did that. <laughs> The most realistic <laughs> moan. Yeah, he moaned it. And the lunk alarm did not go off. I don't think that at that Planet Fitness it has ever gone off. But that ha- this guy had screamed at the top of his lungs, yelling my name, just trying to get anybody's moaning attention. At the top of my moaning lungs. at the top of his lungs. I don't know why I moaned, but like, that was so uncalled for. <laughs> that was the first time this guy... First and last time, this guy has hit 225 pounds on bench. I've gotten close one time by accident with the plate and a 35. Uh, anytime? Yeah. Yeah. That was when I was really distracted and all while talking to you. And oh, then, yeah. You're talking to me and you barely you went and you know, you're getting ready to rack it. And then you're like, you just started hesitating and you started breathing. You're like, what? You started fucking shaking like a vibrator. He's just... Oh, so that reminded me when you said vibrator. <laughs> I have I have a <laughs> I have a vibrating toothbrush, and it, literally how it sounds, it vibrates. It was one of those ones that with the circles. You know what I'm talking about? It spins. Yeah, 
several, uh, I call it my personal vibrator. And when I was brushing my teeth, my family, we brushed all of our teeth at the same spot around the same time. My little sibling was around us and I was like I was like no he's like in my personal vibrator he turned to my mother and I was and he's like mom I want a personal vibrator and he went my him and my mom went to the store he yelled it out on the top of his lungs mom I want my personal vibrator my mom was so pissed at me for that bro do you guys just like to yell things out in the stories Mom, I want a personal vibrator. But, like, you see how it sounds, because a vibrator could, has different meanings. Yeah. Oh, and they sell vibrators at Walmart. I don't know if you guys they know do? This. They do? They do. They do. I was looking in the condom section. <laughs> <laughs> it starts off at the condom section. And um, I, for, at first, because the condoms are at the very bottom, I, was, I squatted down, I was looking at them, and then, um, I don't know why, I just looked up, and it's just a row of different sizes. In different types. What? Vibrators? Vibrators. <laughs> My voice cracked. <laughs> vibrators? <laughs> yes, vibrators. I know they sell condoms and lube, lube? and stuff like yeah. that. But no, they vibrators. also sell vibrators. Since when? I don't know. Since I was in high school, maybe? Before <laughs> that? I'm surprised a lot of people don't steal them. They're in cases. Or the one that's over here is in cases, like those glass cases. Yeah, and then the, um, at a different Walmart, they're in the cosmetic section, so you have to. I think you have to unlock the case as well. It's a different type of case though; those ones flip up. And then at Walgreens, they also have um those ones that you have to like call the person over and they have to unlock it. It's a whole lot of fucking. All, all of them are in, in lock cases. That's good. <laughs> Drop you back to football. Personal vibrator. Jumping back to football. <laughs> uh, recently, I've been complaining about my hands because I think I might have nerve damage or something's wrong with them because every time I'm playing football, he thought it was high blood pressure. Turns out it's not. The doctors don't actually know what it is. But every time I'm playing football, you know how we have all these veins in our hand? Literally almost every vein. Well, every vein that's visible. <laughs> Sorry. <No. laughs> gets uh, Gets clogged during football. Clogged. Like it looks like how those lumps that end up coming on my hand during yeah. football. I I think it's clogged. My blood just gets clogged. Damn, where am I itching right here? So you, that sounds like high blood pressure. Yeah, the doctor said it wins it. I have a doctor's appointment coming up to physically check everything about me. That's weird because uh, I had to take I have to take aspirin for my knee, so I don't get blood clots. They gave me, like, uh, what is it? Um, ch- uh, child aspirins? What is it? Baby, as- baby aspirin. So, it prevents blood clot. Blood clot. Bro, I swear to God. It blood prevents. Clot. <laughs> it, it, blood clot. No, it prevents blood clots from forming into my knee. And not only that, but it also lowers uh, blood pressure. Noise. That's why I have to take it. So, I think you should probably start taking baby, baby aspirin. And that's what they're going to suggest to you. Dude, Avatar was so good. Dude, I need to see that. I'm surprised they allow kids watch it. Why do you say that? Because when watching it in theaters on the big screen, even though it shows like they're covering stuff, it's not covering it enough. Side boob? No, like you could actually see the nipples and stuff. No way. Yeah. Dude, I heard that... Um... A lot of people didn't like it because that one of the kids kept saying bro a lot for like the whole yeah. thing. I hated that. I'm like, bro. Yeah, I'm like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro, really? Yeah, yeah, I'm like, like from the time jump was supposed to be like 20 years. They jumped like 20 centuries. What? From just talking naive to everyone basically talking English. And they're all... It's weird. <laughs> but have you seen the... Oh, you don't have a phone. They have a new filter on TikTok. So they have two two, uh, two different avatar filters. So they have the one from the normal... From the first tribe that we've seen in the first movie. And then they have the water tribe one. Where they're like a lot lighter and their eyes are bigger and farther apart. Bro, some people look funny with the water tribe filter on, bro. Have you tried it? No, I haven't tried it. But they look like Sid the Sloth. 
There's already a filter for that. Oh, jump scare. Have you seen that one? No. Oh, you don't have a phone, man. I broke my phone and I'm kind of too lazy and poor to get another one. Bro, help us out. Mostly lazy. <laughs> help us out so we don't have to get jobs. Well, I have jobs, but I'm tired of working, bro. Help us out. Uh, <laughs> oh, but the way he broke his phone. So we were at the gym again, right? And so I was, okay, the story starts off. So I was working out, right? I was benching. And I, it was, I was trying to max out and I think I was holding. Time out, time out. Whenever it comes to upper body, my upper body just doesn't know how it work. <laughs> okay, so I was trying to hit um, 90s for five. I think I was trying to hit it for five. So I got it for three. And then the weight started, I started shaking. I was like, this is getting too heavy. And I was getting ready to drop it. And I was asking him to help me. I was like, help me so I don't fucking drop this damn weight. Um, so he didn't want to wanna help, He didn't want to help me. And he's like, just do one more. Just do one more. And I was like, bro, I'm going to drop the weight. So I ended up just throwing my knees up to catch the weight. And I slowly brought it down. And then I threw it off to the side. So this guy, he starts working out. And he, and um, I think he was hitting, what, 60s? 65s? 75 or 60. I mean, 70, 70, 70 or 65. And this guy, he he's doing it too. Uh, we're doing incline bench with the dumbbells. And he's doing it. And I think he only does it twice. And then he, he starts shaking. He's like, bro, I need your help. And I was like, no. He's like, I need your help. And I said, fuck no, I'm not going to help you. I was like, you didn't help me. You fucking do it yourself. This guy, his he drops the fucking weight. He doesn't even like try to lower anything. He fucking No, I tried I tried lowering it. It just my hand went. And he fucking threw it and it bounced and his phone vibrated un- out from underneath the bench he was laying on. It vibrates out and he drops the weight onto or it bounces back up and lands on his phone. It still worked. It was just really cracked, but the where it fell was by the import, so the import was smashed a little where you charge your phone and then slowly it started not working. Dude, my phone fucking doesn't charge for shit. I have to shove, I have to beat <laughs> it in there. I have to fucking hold it in there. And no, that's the way mine is. Mine Wait started it doing it. Charging. That's the way mine started out and then it doesn't work no more. So. Yeah, I know. I only have one charger left that works. Actually, my girlfriend got me a charger and uh, that shit don't Stop work. Stop it in before it doesn't work at all. No, that's the only way it charges. Over time, it's gonna stop working. Well, it's gonna stop working no matter what, because it's not either it doesn't get a charge or it gets a charge and it still get fucked up. <laughs> yeah. That that's such a that stressed me out so much because there be times when on important phone calls, I had uh. uh <laughs> There's times where I uh, punch the wall because I have I used to having issues, but I I still do. It's just kind of how I control them a lot easier. But this had this had pissed me off so much. I turned towards the wall and punched it. And our house is made of clay and like really soft wood floors. In Adobe. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's not clay. It's Adobe. And uh, my mother felt the vibration through the floor on the other side she's like what's wrong I'm like this phone's fucking retarded and she's like are you sure it's not you and I'm like I'm positive (laughs) okay uh, that's a good question I gotta ask okay so when you guys are angry do you guys like and you get very frustrated and stuff do you lash out and like punch the wall or anything because I've personally have never done that and my sister has she's ran through one of our doors before like all the way through and I've never lashed she out like that. She knows you like the Hulk, so she tried to become one. <laughs> <laughs> but I've never lashed out like that. When I get angry or frustrated, bro, I just sit there and I have to think about it. And I don't know why, but I've never lashed out. Like, my sister lashes out, and I've seen you lash out before. But I've never lashed out like that. Well, I lash out every once in a while. It's not every day now. Yeah, but I don't know. I've never lashed out like that. Uh, There's one time you had to carry me away. Right? Oh, yeah, when you were arguing with your... Dad? Yeah. Stepdad? Yeah. The one in the girl. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, I remember I had to carry you out. That's because you were arguing with your mom, and then he stepped in, and he had no... Just no place to step in. No, I was arguing with my mom. He just walked up to... With about my ex, and... It was about my dad. That's why he stepped in. Because it was about... 
And I was like, I don't like the way that he talks about her or talks to her. Basically, I felt disrespected and he doesn't know her personally. She is what he said. She is. <laughs> He's right. He's right. It took four years, but he was right. Uh, uh, at the time, I was really overprotective. Any person I'm dating or talking to, I get really overprotective about them. Like, I... Like, I start overthinking, like, what if this happens, this happens, or, like, I just think of everything. You're Good obsessed, like you said last time, last episode, you're like, I'm obsessed with girls. Yeah, I'm literally obsessed with girls, and uh, he was calling her all these names, and I, was, and I confronted him about that, and he kept on calling her these names, and I have anger issues, me and him fought before, but the only time was this. This is at the time where I was barely a teenager. <laughs> so he won, of course. <laughs> and, uh... Rematch coming soon. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. You're thinking the same thing. That's <laughs> fucked up. You're thinking the same thing. <laughs> that's, it's okay when I say it, because that's my dad. <laughs> I'll let you say it. Bro, bro. You're thinking the same thing. <laughs> yeah, but it's my dad. <laughs> okay, continue. And uh, I don't really remember what happened. But <laughs> next thing I know, I'm still yelling at him. And I'm like, what the fuck is Darian holding me for? And we're already outside my yard and everything. No, at first you were you and your mom were arguing. And then he joined in. And then you started... It's okay if I talk about it. Go ahead. Yeah, you started throwing shit. And then he started throwing shit. And then that's when I picked you up and took you outside. And then your mom asked me to take care of you for a week until you calm down. Until your dad calms down. My mother's so unreliable. I love her to death. But she forgot me a couple times at school. I literally stayed the night at school so many times. During the winter, too. Yeah, until you moved in. Well, with me. Yeah, his parents thought I was lying. For the longest time, they're like, your parents can't just forget you for, like, a couple of months. And I'm like, I'm not lying. I tried contacting them. Darian even tried contacting them. They're like, fine. What's her number? They tried contacting them their stuff. They got a hold of her, and they're like, so that's where he's been. Yeah, she didn't know. This guy used to live with me because he had nowhere else to go. And it's because I went to a Trisco high school, and the place I was living at was an eight-hour walk. If you're just walking, not running, jogging, or anything, just walk. Well, that's how long the GPS said. The GPS was a liar. It took me like six. <laughs> well, that's because we took shortcuts and stuff through the ditches. Yeah, that's why. But, uh, yeah, it came to the point where I started being tired of staying the night at school, especially since the football season was over. I was able just to leave straight after school. The school ended around 2.30. I didn't get home to around 8 o'clock at night. And if we, if I did have football, I wouldn't get home till 11. At night? Yeah. Yeah. It was football season where you're staying with me freshman year. Yeah. And then my mother said it would be like, I'm on my way. Duns it come for like another two hours. Yeah, she's like, Oh, I'm right down the road, don't worry. Three hours later. I actually have a video and I might post it on our but yeah, this guy his his mom would say, like, Oh, I'm on my way, I'm like right down the road, I'm like five minutes away. Two hours later she'll show up and she's like, Where are you guys at? We're like, We're already at my house. And then she'd be like, Oh, I'm on my way. Dan's to get there for like another hour. Yeah, and we're like, hours. how is this like logical to you? It doesn't make sense how you take this long. And I came to a point where I started stressing out why I didn't bother calling her for rides or anything. I'll just start walking or go to his house and see if she remembers. <laughs> yeah, dude. I think the latest she's ever picked up was two in the morning. Yeah, two in the morning at school. No, I meant at my house. At school too? No, at school was midnight. Yeah. And that's when I had fell asleep and that's when, remember I told you, the APS wanted to do a whole file thing on her. Investigation? Yeah, for leaving me at school and they kept on looking at the cameras and seeing how late I stayed. Yeah, that was bad. I used to stay late, but that was only because I had practice. Yeah, well, football practice, you understand, but like... Yeah. Shut up. I'm still learning how to talk. <laughs> no, but I used to stay late too, and then my parents would pick me up like an hour, two hours after practice. But I was never like late, late. 
yeah, like the school started to become my home. I started to like go to a certain spot just to sleep there, or like I'll end up like finding secrets how to get on top of the buildings and stuff. Dude, remember when when that kid uh, was on top of the building? He recorded that TikTok. He set up his phone and then he went up the stairs, climbed up, came back down, and security was right right at his phone. Yeah. When he got there. Yeah. I Dude, so many people used to climb our school buildings. It's no, it's it's really easy to climb if you know how. I've always wanted to. I remember me and you were supposed to go up there once. We did once. I never went up there. Yeah, you no. did once. Not once, never. Yes, because I remember I had to catch your ass coming down. Mm mm. I've never been up. Unless that was Mason's retarded ass. It's your other boyfriend. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Fuck you. No, well, but well, that's all we did. I was always with you or Mason. We used to go. I remember we used to go to after school all the time, play tag or stay late at school for some reason. Not Maybe. because your mom wouldn't pick you up, but just because we would go over there to hang out, play tag, because it's a big ass campus. That was fun. And that if you guys fun. don't know, Mason is our really good friend. We've known him for like three years now. No. We've known him junior, senior, last year, this year. Four years. I swear, I thought it was. Because it was his freshman year. We're two years ahead of him. Where are you? This is his graduating year. Oh, I thought we knew Mason longer, but Mason Four years. is a really good friend. And <clears throat> he finally learned how to run. Congratulations. This guy runs like uh But this guy runs like Sasquatch. Have you ever those videos of where you see Sasquatch swinging his legs and it, he just looks awkward as fuck? That's our homies. That's his normal run. And we used to give him so much shit for it and now he runs normal. It took Took him three, four <laughs> it took years. Three years for him to learn how to run. Oh, but we gotta invite him onto this podcast. We yes. can talk about how um, that whole trip that we made to go pick his ass up from Cali. That will be next episode because I do gotta go. You gotta go. Rapidy yeah. rap. What's your motivational speech of the day? <laughs> <laughs> Every time you say that, you know, pops in in my mind. What? Do it. Just do it. <laughs> oh, I figured out his name from last episode. Shia LaBeouf, by the way, or from episode three. That's his actual name? Shia LaBeouf, the guy who was in Transformers? Yeah. Yeah, that's his name. He was, he was so lucky to be in the role in Transformers. <laughs> Dude. But what do you got to say? I don't have a more vision. Uh, chase your dreams and always love yourself. That's... Yeah. You. That's what you got. Yeah. That's the best <laughs> you got. I can't think of anything off the top. Okay. You can, though. You got this. Let me think of something. Alrighty. You only got one life, so might as well be yourself and enjoy doing the things you enjoy to do. Just be yourself because you can't be anybody else. There's only one of you. Okay, what's the joke of the day? I swear you practice these in a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> what's the joke of the day? What are the jokes I've said? Have I said the one about the organs? Yeah. Joke of the day, come on. <laughs> the joke of the day is me because my whole life's a joke. <laughs> oh, man, that's not a good joke. Um, it's a good joke. Come on, Andrew. You're supposed to be funny. I don't know. Alrighty. Since you can't think of one, <clears throat> my my wallet's like an onion. Every time I open it up, I cry. <laughs> that's fucked up. Alrighty. Me too, bro. <laughs> Help us out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, but have a good one. Naruto. Peace. See you guys later.